In this short video tutorial, I would like to explain how to easily and automatically extract uh, the data that is stored in this polar plot in this figure here uh, to replot the data again in something like MATLAB or GNU plot or to do some further analysis with this data. So the example here is some radiation pattern from an antenna from a German company called Schwarzbeck and you could just easily download this as a data sheet from their website. So now at first I would like to extract the image here. This does not easily work in my browser. So I'm opening this file in my favorite PDF viewer, Sumatra PDF. And there it should open up. There it is. Uh, so I enlarge it a little bit and say here, I will copy the image and now copy the image to my favorite PDF. Uh, photo or picture editing program called XNView, insert this as a new figure and I see, oh, it's flipped. Um, it's upside down, so I flip it once again up. This looks good, this looks right, so I save it. Um, save it under a certain file name that I have, of course, prepared a little bit. Okay, and so then I go back to the browser and the tool that I'm using now to extract the data is called Webplot Digitizer from Automeris. And you can load the image and so I will load the image once again and say, okay, this is a polar diagram. And now we have to somehow calibrate or align the axis uh, by pointing to the center, to the origin, and then saying two known, two known further points. So the origin is somewhere here. And as the first known point, I will use this one here. Uh, with a radius of one at an angle of zero degree. And then if you look around this here, this is a nice point, which is exactly on such a uh, coordinate cross uh, with a radius of 0 0.3 and an angle of 300 degrees. So I click complete and now we have to define these known points. So zero degree means a radius of one, 300 degree means a radius of 0 0.3. And the angles here are given in degrees and this polar plot is indeed counterclockwise. So we don't have to check this, we say okay. And now we have to uh, set the colors. So the foreground color in this case here is red. Um, and I will check the background color, which is white, which is good. And now we can filter the colors and say run, and then it will automatically detect this line. And th this already worked quite well, but I want to have more points. Now just 39 points have been found. I will um, decrease here the distance a little bit and run it again. And now we got much more points, much denser spacing, 155 points. So let's have a look at the data. We will view the data and then we see, okay, um, this is our radius here and these are the corresponding angles. Um, so we could copy this or download it. What I will do now is I will once again plot it using this Plotly um, online plotter and hopefully it will copy the data to there. Okay, there it is. Um, and at the moment it's doing a strange line plot. So at first I will rename the data to make it more meaningful. Say uh, the X here, this is our radius. I will call it R. And the second column, this is our angle that I will call phi. And now we don't want to have a line plot. We want to have a polar plot, which is called polar scatter here and choose the data. So the radius is called R, the angle theta, here it's called theta, I will call it phi. And there we have the plot. Um, it already almost looks like this one here, not perfectly, why? Because the data points are in the wrong order and that's why it's jumping from one point to the other. So I think we just have to sort this column in, for example, a scanning order. And then everything is fine. So now we have replotted uh, the diagram here, extracted the data from this figure. We now have the data available in a table, could copy it from there, do some further analysis uh, with it, and we could just once again replot it.